I just received this email and I figured it would be the perfect thing to kind of start off this video, so here we go. Hey, I watched your video on the Air Jordan 7 Olympic 2012s and I was wondering if you knew any good websites that sold them for anything cheaper than $200. I really want to ball in them, but I don't feel like spending $300 on them. So if you could and you know any good websites, write me back. Thanks, man. So basically, to answer your question and everybody else's question that asks the same thing, which is, you know, how do I get certain shoes for cheap? Um, when you're looking for something like this, uh, typically it's not going to happen, and you're just going to have to be patient on certain things, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, however, you're looking for something like this, brand new, well after the release date. It's not going to be, you know, retail price. It's definitely not going to be $200 because nowadays these things retail at 160. So basically, a $40 increase is very, very minimal as far as a profit margin goes for a reseller because you're not including tax or shipping in that. So, um, you know, typically after tax and shipping, if they were to sell sell you this shoe right here for $200, um, let's see, they'd probably make about $25, $30, something like that, if that. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not going to happen. So certain things, you just got to be a little bit smarter. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. What I have here is two different pairs of sneakers, uh, two different sizes, two different, like, grade sizes, I guess. Like, this is grade school, this is men's. Um, you can see that these were picked up over at a Nike outlet. And here is the price right here. It was $69. Now, this one was surprisingly more expensive than my shoes, but this is uh, $79. Um, however, this is a, a Air Jordan, so I guess that kind of makes sense. And basically, this is what I got. Um, I picked these up for myself. This is my first pair of Air Max 90s, and I got these for below retail over at a Nike outlet. And then these guys here I got for my cousin. Uh, she is into Jordans. She's young. She doesn't have a lot of money. Uh, she's trying to hustle and things like that. So what I ended up doing is when I saw these in her size, I just grabbed them for her and I will send them to her later uh, after I'm done with this video. Um, but basically, you know, certain things like this, these were released a couple years ago and um, you get lucky, you know what I mean? Um, but the one thing is, is that you'll never know what's out there unless you look. So that's tip number one for finding sneakers cheaper than retail is get off the couch and start looking. There are outlets everywhere. There's not just Nike outlets, but there's Reebok outlets, there's Adidas outlets, there's all kinds of outlets out there. Um, just in my area alone, uh, let's see, we're talking the Bay Area, so you have the Great Mall in Milpitas. That is basically one giant outlet center. Um, then there is the Gilroy outlets, and then there's also the Vacaville outlets, and I know that there are more, but those are just the main three that are kind of like closest, uh, so to speak, to where I actually live. So. Um, but yeah, that's tip number one, get off the couch and start looking, because you're not going to find deals just by asking someone like me, like, hey, where can I get this at? It's like, dude, I don't know, I'm not even where you're at. Uh, you got to go look for it. Um, one of the worst questions that someone like me receives is, hey, Nightwing, where can I get this shoe at? You know what? Google can answer that for you a lot quicker than I can. So what you should be doing is typing your question into a Google search bar, like Air Jordan 3 Retro, and the first thing that's going to come up is all of the shopping results. So that, you know, in my opinion, like you're wasting both of our times by asking me a question that you can ask your or answer yourself just by doing basic research. It's super simple. So tip number one, get off the couch, start looking. Outlets are a great deal. Ross is another place to look for sneakers. Sometimes they get B grades, which is what this guy is here. Um, B grades are also sold over at Nike factory outlets. Um, however, uh, this pair doesn't have any flaws to it whatsoever, and uh, this was purchased over at Ross for about $34. If you don't have a Ross in your area, there's most likely some other kind of discount or thrift store type of deal. Uh, these were purchased at a store called DD's Discounts, and I got these for about $29. Nordstrom Rack for $40. 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 If you guess Nordstrom Rack for $40, then you'd be correct. Once again, there are deals to be had off the couch, off the internet, in the actual real world. I don't mean this in a negative way. Um, I mean this in the most sincere way as possible. 
um, I'm being a hundred percent serious when I say this is that not everything is online like there are deals to be had out there you can bargain you can you can trade um, you can negotiate sometimes like not just like in person but online as well like with eBay Craigslist so on so these kinds of things um, just you just got to go out there like you have to you have to go out and look all of these things were purchased for under 50 bucks each and that is in most cases at least half of retail price and in some cases it's even below half of retail price so a lot of these things you guys just aren't looking you guys are getting lazy you're expecting other people to do your work for you and I'm not putting this in a general category I'm just saying in general um, you know what I mean like this is not directed towards anyone but this this is the truth like if you don't go out there you're gonna be missing stuff like you will not get anywhere by sitting still the next tip is you just gotta be smarter about your purchases someone like me I do not care too much in general to wait um, if I see something and I like it and I can afford it I will buy it and that is the luxury that I have of being an adult being alive for over almost 30 years and working my butt off since I've been 13 years old um, I have been self-sufficient since I was 13 I have not taken money from people I have not borrowed things from people I have done literally everything on my own I've been homeless before I have lived in a back of a pickup truck in a camper shell like I've done my work I've paid my dues and now I feel like that with the what I have earned for myself I can purchase anything that I want as long as I feel like it's within my means I will never go out and buy a Nike Air Yeezy for two thousand dollars because I don't feel like I can afford that and even if I could I think that's retarded like and I know that people might get offended by me using that word but seriously like that is stupid like to pay that much money for a pair of shoes like if you got it great if that's what you feel like doing awesome for me personally for someone that grew up poor that ain't happening so if I feel like I can afford retail price or even slightly above things like that I will do it however you gotta know what you're buying stuff like this usually it's gonna just sit there you know what I mean like there is so much quantity of these items here like Nike SPs out there um, not only are they good quality products for the price um, but they're abundant in like how how you can get them uh, where they're available you can get them at pickyourshoes.com ccs.com and all of that other stuff um, skate shops locally I've purchased all of these except for the exception of these uh, locally and um, they've all been for retail uh, now if you just be patient all of these shoes right here except for these ones because these are the newest ones um, these are actually mostly on discount over at certain sites such as ccs.com that is ccs.com it's an online skate shop they got clothes boards chucks uh, or not chucks trucks and you know wheels bearings all that stuff they got everything there plus they got the the gear and apparel uh, to go with your skating uh, adventures if that's what you want to call it a lot of these things will go on sale it just is a matter of of waiting and being patient and knowing exactly what you're buying something like this is gonna go on sale something like the Space Jam SBs not gonna go on sale the Supreme SBs not gonna go on sale you'll be lucky if you even get a pair um, stuff like that so but these things here general releases nobody cares about these people like me just think that they're cool just because hey look it's a nice fresh pair of sneakers I can wear these all the time I don't have to worry about nothing I can beat them up they're good quality it is what it is and there you go so you pay either a hundred dollars or less or you wait because these things will go on sale within about three or four months going back to the retro real quick um, I just want to reiterate if you do not get something at retail on release date usually you're not gonna get it um, lately there have been restocks that's something that is new they used to not do so many restocks there maybe be one and it would be a random thing and typically it would just be all of the, the orders that were kicked back because like their credit cards didn't go through or whatever it was so it wasn't technically a restock it was just that you know those pairs just didn't sell for whatever reason um, nowadays they're literally holding pairs to sell on release date sell three months six months whatever it is afterwards and then there's gonna probably be even another restock and so on and so forth so you could again you could be patient or you can get it on release date you can do pre-orders things like that you're gonna be paying more than retail though um, and all of that kind of stuff but as far as getting something for cheap look it's just not gonna happen like you can't get certain things for cheap 
Um, the only way that you can get something like this for a decent price is if you go to soulsupremacy.com and you literally like go to their auctions that they have every week. Every Sunday they upload a crap ton and I'm I'm not lying. They they literally like post like up to 300 plus sneakers on their eBay auctions and those things I mean sometimes they sell for over retail, sometimes they sell for a lot of money, sometimes they don't. Um, what usually ends up happening is that a lot of people don't end up uh, bidding or uh, not bidding but paying for the item that they actually won so then they'll be back next week like that one shoe like if you've been looking for these and they have them and you've been watching them, you bid on it and then you lose the bid uh, and you're like damn that sucks nine times out of ten the person that actually won this bid is not going to pay for it so check back next week because they might have these again or they might just have a different pair different size different condition whatever it is um, but soulsupremacy.com is probably the number one place to go if you're looking for stuff like this I'm talking like this is in retro um, to get it for a decent price. If you go to their online shop, that's just soulsupremacy.com, you're you're dealing with markups and consignment options and stuff like that. So those things are obvi obviously going to be over retail. Um, but if you just wait every Sunday, they have auctions, and that is the best source. I'm telling you, it's the best source to get your retro products for a decent price. It could be used, it could be lightly used, sometimes they're brand new, um, whatever the case may be, but you gotta look. Just to go through the tips one more time, Nike outlets or outlet stores in general, you can find plenty of good products for great prices, always under retail because it is an outlet. There might be a small imperfection, they might be old products like these two guys here, these came out a while back, um, but you never know what you could find in there unless you look. So the main thing is, is go to your outlets, but you have to actually go there. There's no online website for Nike outlets. You just got to go there. Discount stores, Nordstrom Rack, Ross. I know that those sound embarrassing to shop at, but trust me, there are stuff there. As you can see here, you can find really good products for really great prices. And again, it's another place where you won't know unless you go. Be patient and wait for sales. Know your products. Know what is hyped up and what is not. Something like this that's not hyped up is usually going to go on sale. Almost guaranteed. And last but not least, um, check certain places that do have deals that are known for having deals like SoulSupremacy.com. Their auctions. Um, there's another place too called Kix Deals. So you could do that. They always post up updates. Anything they find, they kind of put it out there. Um, and the most important tip that I can give you is just don't be lazy. Like you cannot rely on somebody else to do something for you if that's like if you want something. Um, I did not get to where I am because I asked people for help. I got to where I am because I decided that nobody else was going to help me in anything except for myself. So if I didn't help myself and I wasn't going to get out of a rough situation, and you know honestly that is the God's honest truth. Um, the biggest thing with anything, it's not just shoes or whatever it is, it's with life in general, is that if you are not motivated enough to do things yourself, then you will never make it. And that is the truth. Like, it's harsh, but it's reality. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And uh, stay tuned for more. So, until next time, guys, have a good one.